everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and this is Creating Crafts with Jenny. And currently I am doing a step out of my comfort zone by being consistent. I know this sounds crazy but for a creative person sometimes that is a challenge and that is my challenge. So when I stepped out of my comfort zone, um, basically I'm doing on Monday I did the same thing, on Tuesday the same thing, and today I'm doing the same thing. And last week I did three of the same type of paintings. So, for the whole month, you know, they say if you have a habit and you try to kick it for 30 days, I don't know that it will be more consistent at the end of 30 days. I doubt that. So, on Monday, I did a painting with this palette from the Karen Clark's uh, Cube One, which I'll show a picture of that too. And then I did this one on Tuesday. And today we have this one here. And it has an orange which I covered, carried over. And I'm using the gold again, um, which was carried over from um, yesterday. And it also has a green, which um, I carried over the green as being uh, the Christmas green. Here it says a teal, but on, the, on this card it didn't look like a teal. And then the black is the base, it's a color that's in the painting, which I've been using black as my base painting. So I have my orange. Um, I've got deco art in here. A painting. I don't know. Because a lot of times I will tell you guys um, whether I would recommend this painting for kids. I don't. Last couple days I said no. It just depends on how well your kids listen to you. And I know kids don't listen to hardly anything that adults have to say because they're smarter than that. We are. I remember being. Young and <clears throat> thinking I was smarter than the adults. Anyway, so I'm just going to layer it up and pour it in the cup here. And sponge. I should have probably shook it up, but I didn't. No, it's coming out okay. All right, good. Good, 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 good. So I'm going to do another week like this next week. Um, <clears throat> and I, just, I don't know, I don't know, I'll come up with something. I guess that's kind of the creative part is, do I want to use a tool all week, which might be fun. Um, yeah, and these drippings don't bother, don't bother a thing. Not at all. Just layer them up however you wish to. It's always good to get more in the cup than you do outside the cup. The cup is pretty. It's actually prettier than I pretty I will say I have done several of her paintings from using her color concepts or color palettes and I've never been unhappy with how things turned out. So yeah. It's a good thing to know, right? It is. Especially if you're wanting to do this sort of painting and you may start getting customers so it's a good way of showing them different things that can go together and kind of let them pick what they think is they would like. Okay so then what you do with this is you turn your canvas upside down so I have here and then you flip her over. Flip it over I should say. I'm going to poke a hole in it. Then I'll let the oxygen start moving on it and let it start starts pushing it down, but it's looking really cool. So I'll help it out just a little bit. Look how bright and pretty it is. The cup is gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> It's pretty on the outside. Okay, so what I did, I kind of wish it was a little more centered. Let's see if I can center it just a little bit more before I start pouring on this other paint. Is I just took the rest of the paint and I just poured it around the dry areas on the canvas. So what it does is it kind of opens up more. Instead of having a super busy painting, you don't. It's not as busy. A lot of black left over. Just the black. 
Like I said, this is a very messy way of painting. <laughs> That's why I like the bottles. To me, it's just, I don't know, a little bit easier. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm just going to pick it up ever so easily and let it kind of go down that way. And then I'm going to let it come back up this way and go over the edges as it goes. If you guys can't see that, I'm trying to get that little spot there. Okay. Okay. I should have paint running off the edge. Why? Hang there. That wouldn't be so cool. <laughs> Although I stand on um, this thing that people, paint painters, put down over carpet. So my carpet's safe, but I just don't like it to go. here. It's a cool thing with gloves is your gloves become almost a tool to paint with. Your fingers can too. We've all done finger painting, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright. Those aside. Wow, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna take my gloves off. Gorgeous. I'm trying to think. I'm looking at my other paintings because I got one behind me and one over there. And I will show pictures of the two of them right here together with this one. And we will see how they look together. This looks really I like this. I really wasn't really unsure about using those two oranges together. One's darker than the other one, but I'm really kind of liking it. Again. I haven't used one of her palettes that I walked away and said, you know, I don't like that painting. Um, I didn't care for it. It didn't work. That sort of thing. I just haven't done it. So I think I'm going to continue working through some of this box of hers on box one. I've got cube one. So maybe for June I'll do cube three. Or cube three. I wish she'd come out with cube three. Cube two. Sorry about that. Cube two. So yeah, look at that. Looks pretty cool. That This one does too. Like I said, I'll show you pictures of these and I'll keep them up for a little while so you guys can look at them. But they do have some open areas by doing the dump a cup and then making sure that there was thickness of one color around your design. Allows you to have some open and not have a super busy, busy painting. I don't even have paintings up for you guys. But you know what I'm saying. Like a real busy, I've made a bunch of busy paintings, believe me. Um... And so yeah, I have paint on my yellow shirt. All right, so this is looking really good. If you could hit that subscribe button, I sure would appreciate it. And yeah, so what do I always tell you guys? Go out there, be absolutely awesome, do your thing, and I will see you in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.